last 23 years, I've seen few trucks come and go that I said, this is a truck I'd like to have. This is a truck I'd love to have sitting underneath my horse trailer. Um, the last time they made a medium duty truck was in 2007. It's unaffectionately known by some of us as this was GM's black hole truck that was in development. <laughs> General Motors Chevrolet all-new medium-duty truck first one in the area this truck comes either in a 45 a 55 or a 6500 truck this one being a 6500 the GVW ranges go from 155 up to 26,000 pound GVW this is a 26,000 pound GVW truck so it's 6500 all right so this truck has a diesel motor it's a Duramax motor it is a 350 horsepower motor this truck, in comparison to Ford F650, the, 60, uh, the F650 has a 270 horsepower motor in it. So this is higher in horsepower by 80 above G, uh, Ford's F650. It also has 25 pounds more foot pounds of torque. They all come equipped with exhaust brakes. In the 6500, you can get air brakes. One other difference between Ford and GM and Dodge is that this truck is available with an air ride suspension. It's not available with air ride on either Ford or Dodge. Some of the nice features, this truck has a tilt forward hood to access to do work on the motor. Um, for example, on Ford and Dodge, you either gotta be on a step ladder, remove the hood, or remove the entire cab in order to do maintenance work. One of the nice things about this is turning diameter. This has a 50 degree uh, angle cut on the tires, making it extra easy to get in or shorten the turning radius on the truck. Accessibility to the motor is extremely important on a maintenance standpoint. This is a four wheel drive truck. It comes with manual locking hubs, only way the four wheel drive comes. And the frame on this truck is straight railed. All the way from the front to the rear is one entire straight frame. It makes for a stronger truck. Ford, for example, has a lower entry on their 4500 and 5500 truck, or, or F450 and F550. However, in order to get that lower entry, it is, the front frame is off an F350 welded to a straight frame. So as you get to here, yeah, there's a bend in the frame. Uh, straight frames are just stronger than uh, trucks would have a angle to them. But Ford's entry level is lower because it does not have a straight frame. It comes in three different frame lengths in a four wheel drive. However, when you go to a two wheel drive, there are seven different cab to axle measurements to allow for multiple bed lengths. However, when you go to Ford and Dodge, there's only three cab to axle measurement difference. So GM gives you a far better range of cab to axle measurements allowing for upfit, uh, a wider range of upfits. One other difference between the 6500 truck and the Ford F650 this truck comes with a limited slip different rear differential, which is not available on a Ford. This truck has aluminum rims. The standard rim on this truck is a steel rim, either comes in black, white, or gray. This truck has 19 and a half inch rubber, and it is available either in highway tread or a more aggressive all-terrain tread. The other big differences between Ford, Dodge, and Chevrolet is the running boards are standard on these trucks. Uh, come standard with a black running board, upgradable to chrome. It is an add to both the Ford and the Dodge. This truck comes with either a choice of fuel tanks. You can get a front fuel tank and a rear fuel tank, giving you a total of 65 gallons worth of capacity, 40 gallon rear tank, and a 25 gallon front tank. So the customer who bought this truck, it was a uh, 
ordered vehicle is going to pull a large trailer. So we put a hauler type body on it so he can pull a flatbed. It comes in whether it be dump bodies, uh, stake bodies, van bodies, whatever you want to put on is mountable on top of this.